Hi, Renee here coming at you from the Country Sampler Studio and I'm just going to do a really quick tutorial to show you how I made a really fun and easy felt garland to put on your Christmas tree. We featured it in the November issue in the Branch Out article and if you are actually looking for that it is on page 10 and 11. It shows you how I used it and it shows you a, actually a quick um, kind of image of how to do it but I just wanted to show you a real quick demo because it's so super simple and easy. All I did was take regular felt pieces, I think they're like 9 by 11 I cut them into strips, um, the 11 or the 9, they're 9 inches long and they're maybe 3 quarters of an inch wide so they're not terribly wide, they don't have to be exact by any means and you get lots and lots of them. I used 5 colors on mine um, and it's just super simple to do. I um, have a medium weight string so it's not terribly thin, you need a medium type weight string Make sure you tie a decent sized knot in the end that is not going to pull through the felt and it, and it typically it won't. This is a tapestry needle, um, not hard to get a hold of again, but it's got a nice big opening so you can get your string through there without any difficulty whatsoever. So it's not really very difficult. Really the only challenging thing is to know that you cannot just fold the entire piece up accordion style and stick a tapestry needle through the entire thing. It won't work. They're not sharp enough. So all I did was take my tapestry needle and kind of weave it in and out accordion style about every half an inch very quickly kind of just shove it through until I get the whole thing onto my needle okay just like that and then then you can pull it through all the way to where your knot is all right very very quick um, this would be something that would be super fast to do if you were sitting watching um, Christmas movie or any other movie you're getting ready for Christmas, you want to make a couple of these garlands. They are time consuming, don't get me wrong, but this is not difficult. Would I give it to my five-year-old or my six-year-old to do with a needle like this? Probably not. They're not sharp, but they could potentially, you know, could potentially injure little hands. So maybe we don't want to give it to somebody that young, but um, anyone else a little bit older than that might be able to help you. So just weave it back and forth, back and forth, and again, does not have to be perfect. I'm doing it quickly, so it's definitely not perfect. I did take a little more time for the one that was in the magazine. So there's three, I did four. Obviously you can pick whatever color scheme you want. This would be so cute in any color scheme. I just went with traditional with the bright colors, but I threw in that kind of pretty brighter green. And see, I'm even struggling a little bit with some of this felt, there we go. To get it through. Some of this felt is heavier weave than others. I went with the cheap stuff. So the cheap stuff is actually easier to use because if it's heavier, it makes it a little more of a challenge to get your needle through. This red piece must have been a heavier one. So it's being a little stubborn, but it's working. I'm getting it. There we go. Shove it on there. And then I topped it off with a white one. The white one is super easy because it's thinner weave. So real quick, back and forth, back and forth. There we go. So there's my five, my five pieces. If you end up with it like this and you have some pieces sticking out, just cut them off. See the end like that, that little red one, just cut them off. And then the, the thing that kind of makes it fun, in between each five of these, I just took a bead, a big bead, and separated them to keep them where they are. So I did one feed through, and then I did a second loop, okay? And then I kind of shoved it down on there to where I wanted it. And then I just did another loop. So there's two loop throughs and that will keep it exactly where I want it to be. And I can move on and keep going and do more and more and more of them. But that is all the more difficult that it is. So have fun making your Christmas garland.